In life, we often face situations where we struggle to control ourselves. Picture a time when someone you know gave in to peer pressure or made a quick decision without thinking it through. For example, imagine a student at school who feels pressured by friends to do something they know is wrong, like cheating on a test. This scenario highlights the struggle many people face when trying to stay true to themselves despite external influences. It happens to all of us. But there's a powerful idea that can help us navigate these challenges. The quote we're exploring today is from Seneca, a Roman philosopher. Most powerful is he who has himself in his own power. This quote suggests that true strength comes from mastering ourselves. In this video, we're going to dive into what this quote really means. We'll talk about what true power looks like, and it's not just about physical strength or wealth. True power comes from within, from controlling our own thoughts, emotions, and actions. So, join us as we explore the meaning of this quote and discover how self-mastery can lead to a more powerful and fulfilling life. So what is true power? True power can be seen in many forms. Some people think physical strength or having lots of money makes you powerful. Others believe it's about having a high social status or being able to influence others. However, these forms of power have their limitations. They can come and go, and they often depend on others. Now, let's talk about self-mastery. This means being in control of your emotions, thoughts, and actions. When you have self-mastery, you're able to make better decisions because you're not controlled by your impulses. You can also build strong relationships because you know how to manage your emotions and communicate effectively. And when faced with challenges, self-mastery helps you stay resilient and cope with difficult situations. So, how do you become a master of yourself? It starts with self-awareness. This means knowing yourself well, understanding your triggers, emotions, and thought patterns. By being aware of these things, you can start to recognize when you're feeling tempted or upset and take steps to control your reactions. Another important aspect of self-mastery is emotional regulation. This involves learning healthy ways to cope with your emotions. Instead of letting your feelings control you, you can learn techniques like deep breathing or positive self-talk to stay calm and focused. Setting goals and boundaries is also key to self-mastery. When you know what's important to you and what you want to achieve, you can prioritize your time and energy accordingly. By setting boundaries, you protect yourself from things that might distract or harm you, allowing you to stay focused on what truly matters. Lastly, self-discipline plays a big role in developing self-mastery. This means being consistent in your actions and being able to delay gratification. It's about sticking to your commitments and not giving in to impulses that might lead you off track. To illustrate these concepts, we'll look at examples from history of people known for their self-control. Think of leaders like Mahatma Gandhi or Nelson Mandela, who remain steadfast in their principles even in the face of adversity. Also explore everyday situations where self-mastery comes into play, such as resisting the urge to gossip or staying focused on your work instead of getting distracted. By understanding the power of self-mastery and learning how to develop it, you can unlock your true potential and become the most powerful version of yourself. Self-mastery isn't just about controlling our actions, it's about taking charge of our lives and becoming the best version of ourselves. By mastering our emotions, thoughts, and actions, we gain the power to make better decisions, build stronger relationships, and overcome challenges with resilience. Now, it's time for you to reflect on your own self-control. Think about areas of your life where you could use more self-mastery, whether it's managing your anger, staying focused on your goals, or resisting temptations. Remember, self-mastery is a journey, 
and it takes practice and determination to develop. As we wrap up, we'll leave you with the quote by Seneca. Most powerful is he who has himself in his own power. Remember these words as you strive to master yourself and unlock your true potential. With that, we conclude our exploration of self-mastery and its role in true power. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, stay empowered and keep mastering yourself.